Hey everyone, welcome back. So today for garden week, we are going to design our own packet of carrots. So I'm just kind of measuring this out to get just kind of a um, rectangle or square, whatever shape you want. So this is just random paper that I had laying about. I think it actually came from Hobby Lobby when they wrapped up a glass jar or something. But if you have um, paper that comes in Amazon packages, um, regular construction paper, whatever you want to use. So I'm leaving it folded so I can cut out two pieces at a time. And then I'm just going to cut this out. And if it's not precise, that's okay. Now because mine has a fold in it, I'm going to actually leave that and I'm going to go ahead and glue the other, since if yours didn't have the fold, you may want to glue this side down and then I'm going to glue this side and this side just so it kind of has what a packet would be. And that way it can also dry while we're working on the outside design. So I don't want to do the top just yet because in the end I kind of want to stuff some more of this paper down into it so it kind of looks more like seed, like seeds are in there. So next I'm going to use two pieces of construction paper. I'm going to lay this here so I kind of know the size of my carrots. So I know I don't want to go any larger than this. So I'm going to draw out my carrot. So all this is is a um, maybe a letter N and then these come down into the carrot shape. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I'm not going to worry about details just yet. I'm going to do that at the end. And then if you want, you can kind of lay this down and maybe you want multiple carrots. And if you want that, just fold your paper in half so you can get multiple ones. Use this to trace around. And then we can decide if we want one, two, three, whatever you want on your carrots. And then we can do the tops. So I'm going to go ahead and fold mine. That way I can get multiple at one time. I'm going to lay my carrot down so I can decide what shape or how big and what shapes I want the green to be. And then I'm going to carefully cut these out. So once you have your pieces all cut out, then you can go through and add 
details. I'm going to use a different piece of paper in case it bleeds through. So I'm just adding the lines to the carrot. Then we can decide whether or not we want one carrot, two carrots, three carrots. And I'll add some more designs to the top of this here in a minute once I figure out how many carrots I want on my page. just go kind of plain and simple and just do one. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. details. I'm going to pick up my carrot just a little bit so that I can slide that under there. So I'm not quite done yet. I want to add some different details to my packaging. So maybe I'm going to outline the black. So this gets to be your design. So once you're finished designing your carrot packaging, then I'm just going to use a little extra of this that I had left over. And then I kind of bunch it up and then slide it down into my pouch. 
just to make it kind of puffy. And then I'm going to finish gluing the ed other edge that's left over. And you may have to hold that down for just a second. Maybe about 30 seconds. And there you go. You have your package of seeds. Now you can create tomatoes, asparagus, whatever kind of plants you want to, potatoes, that one would be kind of fun. So anyways, I hope you will have fun and I can't wait to see all the different vegetables you come up with. See you next time.